is the Seven News Special Report. All right, breaking into programming, Lynn Martinez here. I want to bring you more on this developing story we've been following out of Hollywood. A small airplane has crashed, uh, crashed and burned on impact in Hollywood. Now we understand the, the crash is fatal. It's very close to a Target shopping market. Let's go to uh, Brandon Beyer. He's there live on the scene. He's got an update. Brandon? Yeah, very busy area of Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard and Park Road, the target there that you mentioned, Hollywood Police Department directly across the street. We just got here a few minutes ago, this happening about 1230. As you mentioned, we now know that this is a fatal plane crash, just one person on board. That would have been the pilot of this plane. This is one of those banner planes. So if, you, if you've been at the beach, you see those yellow planes, particularly Hollywood Beach, you see those yellow planes going back and forth with advertisements, uh, whatever the, the message may be coming out of North Perry Airport. This is one of those planes. Again, happened around 12:30. I want to show you some video now. Uh, this is the plane, obviously in distress here. About 12:30, when he made that emergency call, he he lets go of the banner. That's uh, in an effort to try to lose some weight, regain control of that plane. Sadly, wouldn't work. Uh, shortly after le letting go of the banner, uh, the plane would fall from the sky. Kind of happens off of uh, camera, and that's. Uh, again when this tragedy is occurring. Another piece of video here now we see just uh, how severe this situation is. Uh, just, just engulfed in, plane, uh, in flames again. This is one of those very small planes you see over the beach. Uh, they, they, they're, they're, they bring those banners back and forth as, as people are, are sunbathing in the sand. Uh, so it's not a big plane and it, just one person on board and we understand the pilot did not survive this crash. I want to show you another piece of video from a 7 News viewer who was very nearby when all of this happened, uh, pulled out their cell phone, took these images, again, similar to what you saw from Rouse pictures up in Skyforce. Uh, just a pretty tough scene to look at here as you consider that this was a, a manned plane uh, going down in the middle of Hollywood uh, just about 12.30 or so this afternoon. I understand Ralph still is above scene. You can see the, the live pictures from him now. Uh, sadly, again, we know that th this pilot did not survive. Um, what caused this uh, plane to, 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 to start to suffer mechanical is issues. That's uh, all part of the very early investigation. Uh, they'll look into that. They'll try to figure out again uh, what happened. What we do know at this point, though, is that the pilot, the only person on board the plane, uh, sadly did not survive. So this is uh, going to be a tough day for uh, anyone who knew that person who was flying that plane. Again, happened about 1230 or so this afternoon. We could tell from the video you saw earlier that the, the plane, it, it was heading east, it appeared, so it had left North Perry Airport, uh, obviously having some problems, radioed that, in fact, he was in an emergency situation, uh, let go of that banner. I think there's a nearby wa a water treatment facility here in Hollywood. I think that banner ended up some, somewhere over there. Uh, but then shortly after that, the plane w was not able to get, uh, re uh, get control and, and crashed again here at Park Road. It's, it's really in the southbound lane of Park Road, uh, just north of Hollywood Boulevard. It's going to be that, uh, that target uh, is right there. Again, Hollywood Police Department uh, just across the street, so they were able to get here within a matter of moments. Uh, obviously, Hollywood Fire Rescue here as well, but almost immediately upon impact, uh, that plane burst into flames, and again, tragically, the pilot, the only person on board, did not survive. Obviously, the very early parts of this investigation, much more to come as to who that person was on board, uh, what happened uh, to, to, to cause him to lose control and to, uh, to go down here on Park Road. As we get more information, we'll make sure to turn it over to you. For now, Lynn, we're live in Hollywood. Brandon Byer, 7 News. Brandon, thank you. Of course, our hearts go out to that pilot who did not survive. When you look at how close uh, this plane crashed, very close to the very busy Target shopping center, it is incredible. Nobody else was hurt. This, again, is on the busy road there, as Ralph is showing us on North Park Road. Let's talk about the traffic situation that Ralph is showing us here. Ralph? Yeah, we're just looking at the intersection there of Hollywood Boulevard and North Park Road. That's where the police department originally set up their command post. They have moved it a bit closer now, but that roadway, Hollywood Boulevard, going east and west is open. The only thing they, uh, drivers can do right now is proceed north on North Park Road from Hollywood Boulevard, uh, to which would be the west side of the uh, shopping center there. That area is cordoned off. Uh, the area around the tennis courts here and around the uh, area of the water treatment plant over here also. We had some author authorities over here. That's that banner we've been referring to that uh, dropped out of the sky shortly before the plane crash. So all those areas are kind of off limit for the uh, public right now. That's what we got for you, Lynn.
So avoid the area if you can. Again, this is around Hollywood Boulevard and uh, North Park Road as there's going to be an active investigation after this plane crashed about an hour ago there in Hollywood. And you can see they're staging there with the, 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 the covering, the blue covering there. You know they're going to be there for a while. The only thing left is this charred plane. And we'll have more in the story from Brandon Byer and Ralph Rayburn on 7 News at 4. Now back to programming. This has been a 7 News special report. We now rejoin regularly scheduled programming.